Hey guys, it's KJ48, and welcome back to my Space Engineers Let's Play. This is Season 1, Episode 10. And I've got a few things to talk to you about. Um, first of all, there has been an update. Um, I really don't know what's been, what was going on with the update, because I'm just trying to get into this game. But um, one thing the update did do was it broke doors. So doors are now open, but they look like they're half open. Um, it's a known bug. It's been reported. I expect it to be fixed pretty soon. Um, the other thing is I finished my conveyor system up here. So I think this thing is almost completely done. I just have to finish this one right here. Actually, let's do that right now. Let's see what I need. I need construction components. Okay. Um, we always need a lot of those, right? I mean, whoa. Oh, we already have them. Never mind. So let's go ahead and uh, finish this up. Uh, I added another uh, reactor to the back room, the power room. Um, I didn't build it, I just started it because I wanted to know how much room I would need for it in case I ever need a second reactor. Um, I'm never going to need a second reactor. Uh, <laughs> after some further thought, um, yeah, I'm, I'm never going to need the second reactor. But I did build it uh, just in case, and uh, it is there. Uh, that way, you know, if I want to ever make it, I can. Uh, I also plopped down this uh, gravity generator, which I will build in a second, and I'm gonna do some uh, I'm gonna do some welding here because I've got something really cool to show you. Uh, that's it for the, except for the big surprise. Let's show you the big surprise. Check this out: interior walls. Four seconds to weld. Um, I've learned how to go into uh, the file that controls welding speed inside the um, the game and alter it. Now, it was taking me um, eight seconds to do one interior wall and four seconds to do um, uh, the, the light armor block, and I cut those down to two seconds and four seconds. So now it only takes me four seconds to do an interior wall and two seconds to do a, uh, a light armor block. Those are the only two blocks I changed. Um, I guess it te technically it could be considered cheating, but I don't look at it that way. I look at it as this is stuff that is not going to be recorded anyway. I'm not going to show you me welding this stuff because it's pretty boring and there's not much to it. And um, to be honest, it was taking me an hour, hour and a half to do a 25-minute video, and that's just um, I don't have unlimited time in my world, in my life. For those of you that watch my Seven Days to Die videos, you know I'm having the same issue in Seven Days to Die. Um, I have to manage my time a little bit better. Uh, I can't take an hour and a half to do a 25-minute video. So um, that's enough of me justifying this decision. I think it's a good decision. I'm going to stick with it and hold my head up high. Uh, and we will just do this last one here. But the main thing we have to do this video is make our new ship. So let's, uh, let's start that out. And if you remember, we were going to make it over here. So let's, um, let's go ahead and start a new small ship. All right, so... Let's do that right there. Let's get this situated. There we go. Okay. And uh, that's the landing gear. And uh, we don't have to make that right now. We don't have enough to make it anyway. So whatever. We're going to put the uh, blocks on it. We're going to start with the uh, blocks. And I kind of... I need more plate. Okay. I kind of have an idea on how I want to build this ship. But I don't, like, have it all in my mind. Um... So, oh, another thing I did is I went up in that ship and I moved everything down here. So as soon as I'm done with this drill ship, I'm going to make a, um, a gravity generator down here. And, uh, you know, the gravity generator started. And I'm going to uh, get that. Actually, we should probably do that now because that ship does not need to be on. It's only on for the gravity generator. And uh, it's kind of wasting power. So let's, uh, let's take a little detour here and, and do this really quick. We need plates, computers, motors large tubes gravity generator okay plates computers motors large tubes 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 I don't think we need a lot of large tubes we'll just take 20 for now um, motors, motors, motors. Thruster components, medical, radio, medical. Okay. Motors. All right, and there was another thing we needed. Uh, it was a gravity generator thingy. Um, assembler, yeah. Uh, production. Gravity. Gravity, gravity. Gravity. Gravity generator. There we go. I don't know how many of those we're going to need. I think only one. So, 
All right, let's take some more of these. Take another 200 plates. And uh, I know we're missing some more stuff, but let's see what, what we got so far. All right. Whoa, hold on there, Chief. Over here. All right. Oh, we need more gravity and steel plates. Really? More steel plates? Wait. Oh, yeah, I guess it does take a, some steel plates. All right. So what did it say? Six gravity? So we're going to need five more gravity thingies and steel plates. So that's okay. We'll take a lot of steel plates. No biggie. Um, really getting uh, going in here. I hope you guys are enjoying this uh, Let's Play. Um, I'm having a great time making it, and uh, it's been a lot of fun. We're going to be doing a lot more of this game. Uh, I did have a couple people say that they didn't really like it, but eh, they don't have to watch it. Um, I love it, and I know a lot of other people do as well. So, uh, Gravity thingies. Three, four, five. And steel plates. Let's take uh, let's take 400 of these. I can always use steel plates. Actually, I'm going to need them for my ship anyway, so. There we go. Alright, so that should be done for this. Now, when I'm creating things like the gravity generator or any kind of... Actually, when I'm creating anything uh, that is not an interior wall or a small uh, light... Uh, what are they called? light armored block, um, the welding is going to be normal. Uh, it's just those walls and stuff. Like when I'm building a space center or a space station, you know, I just, there's just too many walls and ceilings and stuff for me to take too long to be uh, crafting them all, so I'm not going to be. All right, so this, we will just get this thing turned on. It is on. Everything's good. So let's uh, come up here. We should be able to turn this ship off now. So let's uh, see if we can turn this off. And off. And we still have gravity. Very good. I'm trying to get out of this. Get through this door, though. Come on, man. Killing me. There we go. All right, our space station now has its own gravity. And we won't even finish that. Let's just get back to our ship. I really want to make this ship. Um, okay. So let's get ourselves situated here. There we go. And we will put down our light armor block. And, uh, I want to make this ship, uh, I, I usually make it black and red. Um, let's make it, let's make it black and blue. Actually, I think I made it black and blue at once, at one point too. But, uh, it doesn't really matter. So, the, oh, come on. Killing me. There we go. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is make it a few blocks wide. Three should do it. Got to be careful. And then we're going to put a couple blocks in front as well. Two, one, two, that should do it. And then we're going to build the back up. Uh, one, two, three, one, two... Three. Now this could come back quite a bit. This is gonna have to be long and slit and slim uh, in order to get through the asteroids. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Wow, the light armor block doesn't seem to be going as fast as I thought it would be. Mississippi, two Mississippi. It seems like it's three seconds. Hmm, light armor block. You know what? I wonder if it's because it's a small light armor block. Yeah, watch. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. One Mississippi. Yeah. Okay, so these are going slower. So I, I, apparently the light armor blocks that are small, I have to uh, go in and uh, switch those as well. And I'm going to do that. Also, I'll never get this thing done in this video. So just, oh, Jesus. Oh, I almost died. Actually, let me just go sit in my cockpit right here. And uh, I'm going to pause the video and go take care of this. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And uh, I think I changed the, uh, the small armor blocks. They, um, they didn't say small armor blocks or anything. I just kind of had to, like, find them. And, uh, yeah, they were set at three seconds. So uh, I just turned them down to two seconds as well. So uh, let's get to work. Um, the first thing we're going to have to put in here is the cockpit. So let me... Uh, i got to remember not to turn off my jetpack here, man. Like, <laughs> um, all right, we need this cockpit right here. And this is going to go right in the front, which will be right 
there. Let's finish up these blocks first. I'm always like worried that I'm not gonna, you know, finish a block that and like forget about it maybe and whatever. I don't know. Probably too worried about it to be honest. Alright. Let's put down the cockpit. Right there. Alright, we need interior plates. Alright, uh I don't like where I'm building this uh, ship. It's kind of annoyingly difficult to get an idea of where I am the way I'm building it, but uh, what are you going to do? Just keep my jet, my jetpack on all the time. Okay. Cockpit. Four. Right there. All right. So let's just, uh, we'll build that after it doesn't really matter all right so um the next thing we need is to put on basically the next thing i put on right now is the power the power source um now you can use uh little uh you can use small reactors on these ships but uh you need like three four of them you need like a lot of them uh or you could just use one giant reactor which is what i'm gonna do but I want the reactor to be housed in its own little case. You could probably have the reactor straight up against your cockpit. But, um, I don't know. I just, I don't like that idea. Just from a standpoint of, you know, I don't want to get blown up. Like, I, I don't think it's good to be that close to your uh, power supply. Even though it really, honestly, uh, for the game, doesn't matter. There's a lot of things in this game that don't matter that I'm going to uh, try not to take advantage of. Like, like flying your... Um, your jetpack out in space and going far distances to dock with uh, other ships. Uh, I'm not going to get into that now, but um, I'm not a fan of it. I kind of wish they would fix it so you couldn't go too far without the ship. I like the idea of needing a ship. And, um, yeah, so we'll get into that another point, though. We're doing some serious business here. Now, this thing is supposed to be black, so let's take one of these. Let's change it to be black, and let's do this. All right, now this is this is what I like. Look how easy that is. I love it. Love it. Okay. So um, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna need a a large reactor, and we're just gonna put that right in the back. Now this thing needs to be facing up. So let's have it facing up. Mm, there we go. Facing up. We'll just drop off whatever we can inside of that. Now, this thing is going... To, this I want this thing to be completely housed in uh, blocks. So, we're going to turn these back to blue. And uh, we need more steel plate. Really? Okay. Well, what do we need for the cockpit? Computers and displays. So, let's get computers, displays, and steel plates. Alright. Computers, displays, and steel plates. Uh, we don't need these... By the way, um, my small my small cargo container is for all my building materials. Small cargo container number two is for um, uh, ingots and stuff that can't fit in my assembler. Um, actually, or in the uh, or in the um, the refineries. Although I think all my refineries look like they're just about done. So uh, yeah. So anyway, um, what am I looking for here? Let's grab some large steel tubes. Um, I don't remember if we need the interior plates. We do have the... We don't need bulletproof glass. I know that. We need displays and... I can't remember the other thing. Um, I need a quick FK though, so give me a second. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. I, I totally forgot what I came over here for. Um, so let me go back to the ship and just continue. Um, I got the plates. That was the most important thing. I know I needed displays and I also needed computers. Okay, fair enough. Alright, so... I don't need to do anything with that. Let's just uh, continue building this up. Now this needs to come out like this. Uh, the power supply is the most important part of your ship. Uh, you really need to protect it. Um, if that power supply goes, your ship is dead in the water. Uh, it will have no power. You can't fly it. It will just float off and do whatever it's going to do. Um, and you have no control over it. So it, you really got to protect the power supply. Um, I've lost power supplies trying to dock with other ships. And, um, yeah, it's not fun. I tried to take a scout ship out to dock with another ship, one of those, um, like, uh, cargo ships. And, uh, yeah, I tried to land on it, and the, the power supply 
the, uh, the reactor was on the bottom. It was kind of open, and uh, sure enough, I broke it, and it just destroyed the whole thing. And then my ship was just completely toast. All right, so let's make these black. And there. There. I'm going to leave one spot open for the middle, just because I like the way it looks. Not that you really need to leave that spot open, but it's all good. Now, for those of you who come to my streams, you're going to recognize this ship. It's going to look very, very familiar to you. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm not going to do any of that stuff right now uh, because I don't need to do that on video because it's boring. So let's go ahead and make these blue again, and we will put these on the back like so. And, well, I'm, I'm debating how I want to build this. I could put... The, I think I'm going to put the gyroscopes right next to it. This thing's going to need four gyroscopes. And uh, I think I'm going to put them right next to the reactor. Uh, it's a little risky, but I don't think it's really that big of a deal. And uh, it's going to save a lot of room. So let's go ahead and put the gyroscopes right next to the reactor. One. I want them all facing the same way. There we go. Two. Come on. Face the right way. There we go. Three. And... Well... Mm, I think we have to... I uh, See, I don't want... I guess I could have the gyroscopes, gyroscopes sitting on another gyroscope. Hmm, well, let me do it. Why not? Hmm. Alright, let me get some uh, energy in. We'll figure out how we're going to do that. Uh, I need... I, I, I don't know if I need four gyroscopes. I just like that four gyroscopes. So, uh, it gives a ship a lot of uh, maneuverability. And uh, I really like it. So, let's see what we can do with it. Okay, so what we'll do is, we'll put these right here. Yeah, okay. There. And then we'll put the fourth one right there. Alright. Let me uh, let me start building some of this, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I have uh, just finished up making all the blocks I already placed down. We got our gyroscopes there, we got everything on the sides, and... Um, we are going to need to start thinking about where we're going to put our thrusters, but I think for now, let me just, um, just make these blocks all blue again. And uh, for now, we'll just place these along the bottom. This thing's going to run off, uh, come on, place it. What the hell? There we go. This thing's going to run off uh, one big thruster in the back, and um, I'm wondering what color I want to make the thrusters. I guess I'll make the thrusters black. So we'll put these here for now. We'll cover these up real nice. You don't want to lose the gyroscopes. Um, I do have one gyroscope kind of on the side there. That could be in a little bit of danger, but um, it's not a big deal. If I lose one gyroscope, it's not the end of the world. It's if you lose all of them. Um, you could probably lose all your gyroscopes except for one, and the ship would be okay. At least good enough for you to get it back and repair it. Um, you know, so. Now, we want three thrusters going... Uh, in each direction, uh, at least except for backwards. Backwards will be uh, four regular thrusters and um, one big thruster. Or I could just put two big thrusters on it. Maybe I should put two big thrusters on it. I've never done that before. Let's see, how we, let's see how that'll work out. Let's take a look. These are the large thrusters, and we will look at these on the back. Turn it around. See, I don't know how good it's going to be to fit two of these on the back. Uh, I could probably do it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Alright. So what we're going to do is we're going to put three small thrusters on the side right here going left and right. And we are going to make these black. There are three going left. Three going right. That will be our momentum going left and right. And now we will put... I'm going to put two big ones on the back. I didn't... I've never done this before. Um, but I'm kind of curious on how it's going to work, so let's go ahead and put two big ones on the back. Now, see, that's not going to line up properly. Um, there'll be a hole in the middle, or it'll be offset. See, mm, that's not going to work. It will be offset. I could put one. I could put one right there, and then one right there. Give me a minute. I'm going to think about how I want to do this. I'll be right back. Okay, I've changed my mind. Um, just for the ease of use, I'm going to put one big thruster right here. Then I'm going to need thrusters below pushing down. 
and uh, we'll put three right like this. One, two, three. Then we're going to need three pointing up. Um, now this is going to be a little bit more of a challenge. I'm not quite sure I want to put these three pointing up yet. Um, hmm. I could put them right here. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think the... Pff, yeah. Yeah. Could have two pointing up. See, two pointing up is not enough. I, I really want three going in each direction. So let's put them right here. I'm not sure. This isn't this isn't where I would have chosen to put them, but um, a lot sometimes you just gotta roll with what you got. And this is gonna actually have to go down twice. <clears throat> um, the way this is gonna work is there's gonna be six drills on the front, and I'm gonna have the drills wide enough so I can actually drill straight through an asteroid and uh, come out like the other side. And in order for me to do that, things need to be very compact. They need to be inside the ship. So right here, one two, three. I would say that's pretty compact and inside the ship. Um, I guess that's a pretty good spot. Now, we do want some more forward momentum. Uh, that one thruster isn't going to quite do it. Um, we have three going up, three going down, three going left, three going right. We are going to need three going forward. Um, that is going to be a challenge for another time. I'm not going to really deal with that right now. But the three going forward are not going to be here. I know that. So let's... Um, Let's put two more on each side, right? And, uh... Yeah, screw it. Like that. Come on, damn it. There we go. And on this side, and on this side. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, craft all these things, and when I'm done, I'll be back. Okay, I just found a problem in the design. Um, these side thrusters are actually... Uh, sitting out a little bit too much. First of all, let me show you what I've done. There's a bug, too, which is really annoying that keeps, like, messing with me, but uh, whatever. All right, so, yeah, I can see it's, like, showing up a thruster, even though I don't have a thruster chosen. I think I know a way to get rid of it, though. I think if we go into this inventory, it'll fix it. Let's try. Uh -huh. There we go. Nope, didn't fix it. I don't know what's... That's really, really annoying. Like, anyway, um, yeah, these side thrusters right here, uh, while I'm digging out, will probably... Actually, they might be okay, but I'm going to stick them in farther in the ship. And uh, I'll show you how I do that right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to break these out. We're going to break... Um, yeah, this should work. This is really annoying. All right, so let's uh, break that one. Break this one. Be very careful. You break the wrong part of the ship and stuff can go flying off into space. Alright, so yeah, that should work. Alright, we just gotta make sure we don't hit the gyroscopes. There we go. Okay, now we take our small thrusters. Number six. They are still black. I don't know if I like them black. I might actually change the color. Because they're not the same black as the uh, black I'm building the ship with. So it doesn't really match. But uh, I'll worry about the colors later. I can always change them anytime I want. And then I'll put three of them down like that. See, now that's much better. Now those things are really into the ship. And we should be able to do the same thing on this side. Let's just set this up to make sure we can. And we'll knock these out. I don't think any of the gyroscopes are connected to these, so it should be okay. Nope. Gyroscopes are still intact. And we will throw our other thrusters on facing this way. And now the thrusters are even more embedded into the ship. So no thrusters are sticking out. You really don't want to lose thrusters while you're, uh, while you're mining. So those thrusters are in much better shape. So let me go build those, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I've actually turned off my timer because, uh, yeah, the time is uh, completely messed up on this. This is going to be a longer video anyway. So uh, I finished making all that stuff, and now we're going to come back into the front and work on where we're going to put the drills. Now we're going to bring up our drills here. Where are they? Uh, drills. There we go. Now uh, I'm trying to decide 
how I want this to work. Um, now, I think because of the conveyor system, I actually had the drills sideways like this. Normally, I would have the drills like this. Uh, like, come on. Uh, there we go. I'd have the drills like this, but it, it makes it harder for the conveyor system to work. So I'm actually going to make them like this. I believe that'll make an easier conveyor system. So we're going to put that one there. No. That's already wrong. Okay. All right, where do I put this? Let's just uh, put down some blocks here. Just to give ourselves a little uh, workspace here. And uh, number five, now... Yeah, like this, and like this. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to build up a spot along the back, like so. Not, I don't really remember how high it's supposed to go, so we'll just make it go that high for now. Let's complete this, because we won't be able to get back to this again. Okay, and there we go. Make it pretty high. Okay, now I forget how high I need to make this second set here. Uh, I'm thinking like right there. Let me think. Right there. There. How is that? Is that too high? What spot is that on exactly? One, two, three. It's on the fourth spot. I should really go into my multiplayer world and say, let me go into my multiplayer world and make sure I do this right because, uh, yeah, sorry, I accidentally hit the fraps button. Let me go into my, oh, jetpack off, that was a mistake. Boy, I, I'm making, how many mistakes can I make in one day? Okay, I'm going to go back into my multiplayer world because you want to make sure the drills aren't too far apart or else rocks will be in the middle, obviously. So I will be right back. Let me go check. Okay, I'm back. And um, I kind of did this wrong and I kind of did it right. It was actually four up, but these things were supposed to be uh, facing up and down. So let me go ahead and put those on there right, uh, or correctly, as I should say. Uh, so it was in that spot, but it's supposed to be ugh, like that. Yeah, just like that. Boom. Okay, and then it was four up, so one, two, three, four. So that one right there. One down from the bottom. Perfect. There we go. And uh, then we use the conveyors to connect. Actually, I think they were down a little bit, actually. Yeah, I don't know. Will that be down low enough? Eh, it didn't look down low enough. Let's, uh, let's see if we can play around with this a little bit. Maybe these were even lower. Five. Like there. Yeah, I think they were. I think they were lower actually. So I go down here. See if we can get underneath there. We can't. I could probably move this at this point. Um, I don't have any forward thrusters, but I should be able to move it. So um, let's go ahead and get some power for this thing. Now I can't move forward because if I move forward, I don't have any forward thrusters. So if I start moving forward, there's going to be no way for me to stop moving forward. Actually, there is a way I could just turn the ship around and then my rear thrusters will act opposite and slow me down. But um, it could be a little bit painful to maneuver this thing. But uh, I do want to get it off the ground. So let's give it some... Let's give it some uranium here. There it goes. Let's get in the cockpit. We have four... Everything's good. We got our four gyros. Everything's good. Let's unlock. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Our... um. We're not going to be able to unlock because these aren't done. So, let's uh, get this done. And we need a motor, of course. I actually need to end this video. So, I'm going to actually take this thing off, uh, get it off the ground, make sure it's working properly, and then end the video because um, th this video is already going on long enough. Uh, what did I say? A motor? A motor. 17 motors. Why not? I'm getting sick of working on this thing here anyway. I'd like to put it into a better position if I can. Alright, so let's do this. Um, until the landing gear is finished, you won't actually be able to undock. So I'm not even going to finish it because I am going to eventually take that landing gear off anyway. So I'll press P to undock. And there we go. 
Now, we don't want to move forward, because if we move forward, like I said, without, without forward thrusters, we'll never be able to stop. So, um, that's okay. The ship's fine where it is. Let's just get out. I just need to take off so I can get underneath. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put a block right here. And then we're going to put the drill on, like, this. What was it? Was it like this before? No, it was like this. No, that's not that. No, it's supposed to go there. I'm almost positive it's supposed to go there. That's where it's supposed to go. I know it is. Yeah, that's where the drills go. All right, so um, I'm going to actually craft all these drills. And uh, I'm just going to craft what's here. I'm not going to build anything off camera. But I do have to end this video because this video is going a little long. So let me, uh, let me craft all these drills. And um, that'll be it for episode 10. And we'll see you next time for episode 11. Until then, take it easy.